So welcome to the Flippin' Ain't Easy channel. Uh, this is sort of an impromptu video. I wasn't really planning on doing this today, but about half my videos are, are like that. I don't plan on making a video. Um, wife told me that I need to get out in the garage and I need to start going through my stuff. And uh, that's what I'm doing today. So I thought I'd take you guys on a journey with me to kind of get an idea of the, the just the junk that I have accumulated in my death pile. And so the goal for me is to kind of go through the death pile and uh, determine what's worth trying to salvage for sale and, and what really doesn't have any value. So uh, we're going to go on that journey right now. So without any further ado, let's go. So I kind of started to... So I started to dig into my death pile here and, uh, you know, I wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of what I'm dealing with. I have a lot of Amazon returns and I have a lot of Walmart returns in here. You know, stuff like this has value. Uh, I mean, I don't know what this kind of stuff would go for. A couple uh, private property yard signs uh, have a uh, classical guitar booklet. It doesn't look to be worth too much, but I'll check that out. And the goal is uh, this evening when it cools down, I'm in, in, in my garage, it's about 100 degrees out here. That's not exaggerating. I'm just sweating. But I uh, wanted to get a start on it. It's about 630 in the evening. And uh, if I don't get started now, I'll never finish. Um, you know, so as you can see, I have some yard sale tags in here. Uh, I had a yard sale about a year ago and it went, a, it went well, but I didn't get enough traffic to the yard sale to really make it worth my while. Something like these, 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 uh, um, easy labels. Um, it says that there's 60 per sheet and I'm not sure what this thing would go for. Maybe 10 bucks. I have to make sure that it's complete. A lot of these are open box items. As I mentioned, um, here's some lights and I, I see a remote in there. Uh, the package is damaged, but that doesn't mean that this doesn't have value. So, uh, this right here is part of a home Depot return lot um here's some hd tv antennas and i've received a few of these over the last year in my pallets these i've never come across one where they're defective so um you know most of these are when you get them are pretty good and they go for about maybe 10 15 20 dollars depending this one's probably no more than 10 dollars you know and it's really after your fees and everything you're really not going to make a whole lot of them uh here's one that's uh amplified hd tv indoor antenna maybe closer to 20 bucks and as you can see i have a few of those i have some of these litter genies this came in a amazon palette and i'm sure they have some value uh you can see the amazon bagging the poly bag it's a green every time anytime you see a poly bag with the green on the side uh, saying ready to ship it usually is an Amazon item uh, you know little things like this this is a like a makeup purse a little hologram on it but what I did was I, I'd get the palette and I'd go through and I'd start looking at large ticket items and the stuff that really didn't appeal to me I just kind of throw in a tub and that's kind of what I'm going through right now I have no idea it's a video converter, VGA to video. I guess if you're trying to convert certain file types uh, over, I have to do some research on that. Um, you know, like health and beauty, you get the tweezer man. I'm not sure what that's valued at. It looks like an open boxed item. Um, even you get some of these, these uh, little deals where you are putting two wires together you're crimping them together I, I don't know they're some type of connector the the names don't come to the top of my head but uh just so many different random things i'm coming across they have a bondage system these i think i sold a lot of three of these for like uh i think it was like 25 bucks and uh, believe it or not they only sell for 10 in the store but they they sell for more on ebay i don't know why some bookends which aren't going to be much value right here is a another HD amplifier and because these don't really sell for much I think that's why I just kind of throw them aside it's 
some kind of a lamp. Oh, this is a lamp for a, a television. And it's a replacement lamp. It doesn't look like it's been installed because, well, maybe it has. But maybe they bought the wrong one. I have no way of testing this kind of thing. This is for one of those uh, DLP TVs. And it may not have value at all at this point. I've had it for a year. Um, what else we got in here? Some staples for uh, maybe a, looks like a uh, large staple gun. Okay. Some copper, copper fit uh, compression socks. This looks like a brace. These were from my health and beauty palettes, I believe. And don't ask me what these are. I, there's something in these tubes, but I have to do some investigation. I have no idea. This is a pet training puppy pads. 100 count through Amazon Basics. Okay. Should have some, some value there. This other box here. I'm doing this one handed because I uh, didn't want to use my tripod. I'd rather give you the. I don't know what this is. Embraco. You know, I have to do my homework. I really doubt that any of this stuff in this box has much value. Um, you know, is it worth listing? You know, maybe those puppy pads. But other than that, I mean, uh, here's a, a Jensen uh, branded cassette recorder. Might get 15 to 20 bucks on that. Provided it works, of course. Amazon Warehouse Dojirushi Stainless Steel Food Jar. That came from one of my Amazon liquidations. And I uh, have to do some homework on that. You know, this is a food gadget. It probably won't yield more than $10. Um, so that's what we've got going on there. And all I'm doing right now is just making more of a mess than I had before I started. But it's okay. This right here, as you can see, it's another tub, and it's just full of, you know, like uh, speed rope. You have some uh, copper fit braces. You got some of the boxing speed bags. You have some UFC uh, mitts where you put on and you allow the person to hit your hand. Um, some yoga block. Some more gloves, some women's gloves, uh, fighting gloves. I mean, these have some value. They, these appear to be somewhat maybe used. These are all returns from a lot I bought uh, from a sporting goods store that went out of business and they sold it through liquidation.com. I don't know the name of the sporting goods store at the time, but this was from last year. We've got a foot roller, hot cold. So more of the same. So that's kind of what this is. This probably, this box is a little bit more value than the last one, I'd say. So as I mentioned, I, I think I'm making a bigger mess than what I would be doing if I did this on my own. But I just kind of wanted to see. I still have some other tubs over there. And uh, I, I really don't, and it goes there too. I mean, it just kind of just goes and goes. But this just gives you an idea of some of the stuff I've been sort of sitting on. And so as you can see, more more of this uh, workout stuff, right? And this MMA training gear stuff. And uh, it's probably gonna be something that I can move. Uh, maybe an auction, listing multiples, but um, to be honest, I just have to do my research. And that is that. Let me see if I can get over to some of these other ones for you. So I pulled over another one of those crates. I can't tell you how hot it is in this garage. Um, not sure I'm going to continue doing all these boxes. I just want you to have an idea of what people like me who buy these lots and just can't get to all the items or don't get to all the items. You know, it's a car uh, phone holder there. The school item. This one's a hole punch. Okay, 
<laughs> He's in my little yard. So I, I swear to you, you know, as soon as I moved here, I, I just put this in a corner and I just allowed the stuff to accumulate. And I think a lot of us uh, sellers are like this on, on eBay. We just, we get so into buying and wanting to buy more stuff and see something that catches our eye that we just sort of forget about the stuff we need to get to. 20 piece kebab set. Um, here's a Fujifilm mini film value pack. That, that has some value as long as it's still sealed on the inside. For the life of me, I don't know what this is. Oh, these are scissors of some sort, or some shears. Uh, fisk, fiskars. Okay. So, I guess that's just the uh, part that allows the pointy and not to stick someone. Here's a water flosser I didn't... Uh, see I had I, I sold a lot of these early in the year it looks to me like uh, this is an open box item so where someone's opened it and took it back it still may work and believe it or not these water flossers people will buy whether they're used or not this is a paper crimper so it looks like for arts and crafts that maybe you can crimp some stuff together Kind of cool. Um, Skip Doctor. Kind of just makes me crack up because I have these price tags on here. This is when I first started selling on, on eBay. And I didn't really do any yard sales prior to this. And you cannot get $5 for an item like that. Um, well, here's a Frigidaire filter that fell out of the box. You know, people, they buy the wrong filter. You can see that. You know, they didn't hook it up because it still has the plastic uh, protective on the on the deal. Maybe this lost some value. I'd have to get into it. Sorry about the Blair Witch Project going on here with this camera work. I'm doing it with one hand here. Here's a uh, neoprene suspension sleeve. This came into one of my health and beauty palettes. Um, Don Joy braces and sleeves usually sell well in the health and beauty category. Look out for those. Here is a uh, some espresso. I don't know if that's just for the creme or whatever. If you know how to make espresso, I don't really drink coffee, but I'm not sure what value this would have. Um, high quality transitions. Don't know what that's for. Making teddy bears, I guess. Not sure what the value would be on that. It's just random stuff, you know. Um, I don't even know what that is. A couch cover. Uh, Master Lock. It's like a, a cash carry case. Yeah, that's kind of what it is. It's a cash carry case. You know, stuff like this. Old toner. I mean, toner that's not in the seal really is not going to get anything. This, this looks like a uh, maybe a drum unit. I still don't think it has any value. For those of you who buy electronic pallets from liquidation.com, you get a lot of this kind of stuff. This is binding covers, oversized binding covers. So if you're making reports, I suppose. Put that aside. Um, Eva Dry. I've actually sold one of these before. And what it does is it sort of dehumidifies a room or um, an area. You can put it in a safe. It just really depends on what you want to do with it. We are triathletes. I mean, these are things no one's going to buy. I have a People, Hell, and Angels. I don't know what that is. It's a Jimi Hendrix. Okay. Jimi Hendrix uh, DVD or CD. I survived the San Francisco earthquake. I mean, look, a $3 tag on that. No one's going to buy that in the yard sale. Sometimes we make mistakes. Three Doors Down, Greatest Hits. Explicit glow, what is that? I'm doing this one-handed, so bear with me. It is a sort of some kind of a health and beauty gadget, and it doesn't look like the set's even complete. I can hear stuff banging around, so that's not good. I don't want to ruin it. But as you can see, you know, you got your OtterBox case. That is for a iPhone XR. 
oil diffuser. Some spatulas. That looks like a, some kind of a safety light switch kind of a deal to where maybe um, a switch can't be flipped without doing something special, maybe for kids so that they don't get into it. I don't know what this is. Some kind of fil filter. Look into that more. Get your curling irons. I have a bunch of them down there. More OtterBox cases. Disney waffle iron. That's kind of cool. So yeah, I mean, as you can see, I've made my death pile in such a way now, I can't even get out. So, you know, I'm dealing with, with all this stuff. And do yourself a favor. Don't put your, your stuff in tubs and just let them sit for months on end. Um, that's a mistake that I made. And don't make the same mistake that I made. Uh, the whole purpose of this video is to help some of you out there with death piles know that you're not alone. And it is frustrating. And the reality is two things. Either you have to take the time to list this stuff. Or you really need to lot it out. That's listing it. But lot it out into multiples or just get rid of it. Um, my space that I have, my limited space I have in my garage and my soon-to-be new garage. Um, I don't want tied up with this kind of stuff. And um, take a day or two and go through your stuff. And what I have is a laptop out here. I'm going to wait a couple hours when it kind of cools down. It, it gets hot in Vegas. It stays hot. So probably not till about 8 or 9 o'clock tonight. I'll come back out here in the garage with my laptop and have a scanner. I'm going to scan the UPC codes. And I'm going to go through. And if it's with shipping fees, if I can... Make at least five bucks on the item. I'll spend time and, you know, photograph it. You know, make sure it works, photograph it, and list it, okay? Um, you know, minimum wage is, you know, what, $10 an hour in most places. I'm sure I can sell and list 10 to 20 of these items in an hour and, uh, you know, make more than that. And at the same time, I am freeing up space in my garage. And I think there's many of you who just has haven't been able to get through your inventory you really have to take the time and especially now in the summer at least for me because i don't have premium products to sell i haven't really been buying anything lately um it's just one of those things where i have the time even though it's hot i have the time where i can go through this stuff and you know it's sometimes you have to take time out of your day and evening in this case to take care of these kind of things, whether it's accounting, whether it's death pile, you just cannot allow yourself to, to become a hoarder. Okay. And, uh, for me, I'm not, I'm not allowing that. And I've already started sort of going through my, my death pile about a week ago. We had company over for the holiday and, um, I pretty much took a few days off, but it's, it's to the grind. I'm, I'm moving in a couple weeks. It is a must that I either list or chuck this stuff so uh i'm gonna give you back the rest of your your evening uh if you enjoyed this video if you sort of can relate to uh the death pile that i'm dealing with uh please give me some uh some likes like hit that like button and if you enjoy the content just making random ebay videos for you to enjoy maybe it's stuff that uh you know you haven't seen before maybe policy issues or just uh showing you that I'm just like you guys, um, trying to make a, a living selling on eBay. And uh, here are some of the challenges that I'm dealing with. Please consider subscribing to my channel because we're, it's, a, it's a goal of mine to create a video every three to four days and uh, trying to mix it up so it's not the same old, same old. But uh, please consider subscribing. And once again, thank you for watching my video.